In part four, the pentatonic pairs are applied in our Let the Music Teach series. After all is said and done, it's the music that ultimately provides the final steps in the learning process. That being said, it isn't by accident that I've chosen some bedrock tunes to present in part four, starting with I've Got Rhythm, one of the most important tunes in jazz music. The jazz masters recognized early on that rhythm changes embody the essence of the blues, and with a bridge, who could ask for anything more? We'll start in the Rhythm Tune Learning Pack, where five additional learning steps are combined with the five original learning steps to create ten jazz originals, each based on one of the ten learning steps. Take a listen now to Happy Notes in Unit 1 with just the pentatonic pairs. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The pentatonic pairs are also identified and discussed in the Unit 1 lesson. The pentatonic pairs are also shown on the dominant cycle to help you visualize the chord movement involved in the A section of Perdido. Each unit has a call and response section for the A and B sections. Here's a little taste of that in Unit 1. One, two, three, four. In Unit 2 through 10, each lesson continues with a format similar to the one presented in Unit 1. The major third is added to the pentatonic pairs in thirds the word our unit two jazz original. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Unit 3 presents a new learning step, combining the pentatonic pairs with the blues scales in Blues It or Lose It. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Pentatonic pair patterns are expanded to include basic diatonic chord and scale patterns in breaking it down. The Unit 5 original half steps embellishes the pentatonic pairs and, in Unit 6, hooking up connects the pentatonic pairs with chromatics. All right, let's listen to one more rhythm tune now in Unit 7 before we move on, and I call this one Bits and Pieces, featuring the pentatonic pairs combined with traditional diatonic vocabulary. One, two, three, four. <laughs> In Unit 8, the flat 7 setup is featured in 7th Heaven. In Unit 9, Total Accord presents an opportunity to build vocabulary using the sounds of the chord tones. 
In Unit 10, the flat 7 setup introduces the Domini scale and Semi Demi Do, another jazz original. <laughs> Without question, mastering the 10 jazz originals presented in the Rhythm Tune Learning Pack will ensure a serious upgrade in the quality of your next Rhythm Tune performance. Let the Music Teach continues with Tunes to Know and Blow Basics, featuring 10 jazz standards that every player should know and be able to blow on the bandstand. The set of 10 learning steps introduced in the Rhythm Tune Learning Pack includes the 5 basic learning steps introduced in Parts 1, 2, and 3 of this overview. These 5 steps with 5 additional steps have been organized to help you find and develop vocabulary for all 10 jazz standards in this series. To this end, I will walk you through the Know and Blows process with Perdido, which is a free lesson in this series. It all starts by hearing and learning to play the melody with me in step 1A. One, two, three, four. <laughs> In step 2A, some basic theory will help you locate the pentatonic pairs as outlined and explained. Next, in step 2B, the pentatonic pairs are placed in the correct measures of the 32 bar AABA song form, Perdido. In step 3A, the major third is added to the pentatonic pairs in Perdido. In step 4A, a chord syllabus helps you organize and visualize the chords on the scales through the Perdido changes. In step 4B, the chord and scale vocabulary is presented to help you start getting your ears and fingers around this unlimited vocabulary potential. In step 5A, original learning steps 2 and 4 are combined to incorporate the sound of the bebop scale into your Perdido vocabulary. In 5B, a special set of exercises provide experience with the elusive descending bebop chromatics needed to play through the changes in Perdido. In step 6A, the flat 7 setup turns major 7th chord tones and traditional bebop licks in Perdido. In step 6B, the flat 7 finds the sweet spot for the Domini scale patterns that are possible in Perdido. In 7A, pentatonic pairs and blues patterns are mixed through the chord changes in Perdido. Final, step 7B, the traditional Perdido bebop riff that opened this lesson is transcribed for you to learn and play. So, this is how you do it to any jazz standard you want to know and blow and sound good playing. What far too many players fail to recognize is how much work that actually you have to spend learning every tune to really be able to play that tune correctly. Dissecting these tunes in the Know and Blow series will help to enlighten you. The Bebop Shed Pack and Let the Music Teach provides an excellent review of your just plugging into the system. 10 Bebop Insights with Study Guides and Play Tracks introduce each learning step in sets of 251 changes that descend by whole steps in all keys. Here's how this works and sounds in insight number 5 with the descending bebop chromatic scales. One, two, three, four. <laughs> equal value in insight number five are the reference tracks for the descending chromatic bebop scales in all 10 jazz standards in the Know and Blow Basics series. 
Here's the Perdido track with the descending chromatic bebop scale patterns. These are all transcribed for easy access. <laughs> When you check out the other Bebop insights, you'll find that each insight corresponds to an established learning step. Let's move on now to the Know and Blow Extended series. Here in the Know and Blow Extended series, the veil is lifted when I reveal an important process in developing a stronger relationship with the moving harmonies. This is done by dividing each of the 10 jazz standards selected for the Know and Blow Basic Series into four measure phrases that are repeated or looped to reinforce the sound of each four measure chord pattern. I will again use Perdido for our walkthrough on this process. In the Part 1 study guide, the melody with lyrics and basic chord changes is given for each tune with the four measure harmony blocks identified and numbered above the correct measures. In learning step number one, I improvise off of the melody with harmony block number one for four measures, followed by four open measures for your imitation or an inspired response. Each of the four harmony blocks are played or looped four times. All of my improvisation has been transcribed. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In part two, pentatonic pairs are identified in study guide 2A for the A section of Perdido. In 2B, learning steps 2 through 9 are identified and played through harmony block number 1 with four measures left open to imitate or respond. These are played only one time and not transcribed. Here's learning step number 2 with pentatonic pairs and harmony block number 1. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Here's a little bit of learning step number three in the bridge of the B section with the pentatonic pairs plus the major third and harmony block number three. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Here's learning step number four with some broken scale action and harmony block number four in the Perdido Bridge. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And so it goes through the other five learning steps in part two. In part three, the four harmony blocks are played back to back through a complete chorus while I improvise through the changes with the vocabulary we've been learning. Here's how that works in the first transcription of my solo, followed by four open measures for your response. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. The work covered in Let the Music Teach and part four of this overview series covers the full range of the learning potential offered by the pentatonic pairs in the Jazz Everyone language system. The progress you make with this system will be reflected in the amount of time you spend in the shed doing the work. Good luck. Thank you.